I, I interviewed um, um, Chestnut, uh, OG from Young Boys Incorporated out of Detroit. And he told me a story um, when he caught his first body. He was able to talk about the details because he went to prison for Why it. Why he did his time already. Um, and he said, I would have never became the way I was if I never got bullied. He said, me having been getting bullied and having to fight all the time, that anger is what turned me into what I am. So it's, it seemed like, do you feel like it's always, especially for young black men, something traumatic? Like you lose, you was losing your parents, what, what did you feel like you was angry at? What did you feel like you were more angry at God? Is that the thing Allah, that set you off? Allah. Mm. Coming up out of household, coming up around, you know, a Baptist background, my grandmother's grandparents out of Missouri, uh, my grandparents out of Texas, Austin, Texas, you know, my family out of Texas. Just having that background already and, and, and having that, that notion of knowing. So when that happened, it was like, wait a minute. <clears throat> my daddy is 46. My mother, 43. Beautiful. Wide hips, no waist, athletic. Always been like that from, from birth of me. I've seen this beautiful woman. Then my father, 6'4", tall, lean, chopped up, smart as fuck. Speaks six different languages. Vietnam veteran. Why would God take them? Mm. That's what tore me up. Like, the God that my parents talk about and my grandparents preach to us, why would he do that to us, right? When my daddy had a plan, we don't supposed to be stuck in these projects. We was only here temporarily to get back on our feet again so we go back and, and maintain property again like we had, feel me? So we had a plan. So now I feel like I'm stuck. So being in the process of being stuck, I know I got to deal with a lot of lions and tigers and fucking animals in this goddamn jungle I'm in right now. So goddamn, let me become one of the worst animal over here then, damn it. <clears throat> and that's what I became. Or I could have just packed up and left. But I had certain things already instilled in me of the hood. That's why it was so easier for me to just go on and jump over that broom and say, okay, y'all got me now. Give me the suit. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Devil, give it to me. <clears throat> I'm going to lead this war for you. Come on. But I'm going to do it in a way, boy, it's going to be unique. It's going to be different. And I'm going to make my name in this shit. And yeah. that's what I did. I called my name in it, man. Uh, do I live with regrets? Hell to the yell, D. Hell yeah, bro. Um, I'm just now getting over in life uh, to a point because of my my actual um, commitment to to man, anger management uh, classes and, and and speaking to an actual psychiatrist uh, sessions. And I'm I'm saying this, you the first time I've ever said this out loud to the public and on one of these platforms. I'm giving this to you, D. Uh, and so that really, really helped me snap back into the world of society mm -hmm. as far as, like I used to lay in the bed with my woman, man, and she would have to, every night, it, it wouldn't matter, any night she with me, she would have to literally massage me to sleep, bro, because I wouldn't sleep. Or I had these nightmares, I wake up, I'm, I'm seeing bodies, I'm seeing shit from my past. Or literally, a nigga got me at gunpoint, finna blow my brain out. A nigga literally blew my brain out, and I put my head and my brain all back together and shit, and woke up type shit. Going through these type of symptoms and shit, bro. So it, it 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 took me out of that to give me peace. So today I can literally say, bro, I'm at peace with myself, mm. as opposed to my past is really really trying to hunt me. You feel me? Because gotcha. when you because when you make that leap of change in your life, when you when you when you take that that step to say you know what man enough is enough, I want I want some different growth, you know I I want people to look at me differently, and you start doing that, all of a sudden it come all the bullshit obstacles that wouldn't even be in your way, in the first place when you was on your ignorant shit. Yeah, you feel me? Them obstacles wouldn't even exist, but that's because you decided to cross back over and give yourself in the right direction in which you know is right, then of course the wrong gonna try to come at you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, what was the longest prison bid you did? Um, I did four, five, three, 
No, three and a half. My longs would be the four. I mean, the oh, five. What level? Every anything I always went in was max security. No oh, foes. I ain't never been on a two. I, I, they sent me on a level two, a level three, a level two three yard one time by mistake. They transferred me and they ended up sending me to a level two. And that night, I got rolled up out of there that night because <laughs> it went up. Them niggas, when them crip niggas seen me, they was oh, cuz shit, no, cuz that nigga gotta go. If we allow that nigga to set up. Oh, them blood's gonna be in here. We gonna have a problem. No, no, no. So when I hit the dorm, man, I, I went to the weight pile, buffed, and I'd already told myself I can't go to sleep until the morning. So I gotta be on shift. I said, damn, I gotta find me a nigga that can, you know, watch my back while I sleep. So yeah. I need to find me another. Somebody that don't gang bang, none of that. And so I didn't even get a chance to do none of that. Come from the iron pile, go to lay down at night, and then in order for me to shower, I seen this look, this cat that was from up north, Northern California. So what I did, I told dude, I said, check this out, homie. I said, hey, look, I'm just coming through a classification. I'm waiting on classification, but I got about 15 soups on me and shit and some chips and shit, homie. I said, I'll give you about five soups, my nigga. Put Usalam on me right quick. I'll run in here and take the shower. He said, oh, come on, I got you, G. No problem, I got you. So I paid him five soups. I went in there, took my shower real quick, got my boots on. Feel me going there, shower with my boots on, shit, got my thing, shower up and shit. Now, at this time, I don't got no weapons. So I hit him up again. I say, man, why can't I buy some shit? I need, I need something, man. He said, uh, let me see what I can do. You feel me? So, boom. By the, by the time, he, before he was able to get back with me to let me know what was going on, they called count time on us. Count was when you got to get on yeah. your bunk. Now they finna count the whole compound. So they counted on us. When they count on us, lights out. Shut the lights down. Blah, blah, blah. Now, mind you, D, I ain't never, ever, besides Chino, going through Chino reception, I'm not used to being in no dormitory, especially with no stack one, two, and three beds. You feel yeah. me up? So I ain't used to that shit <laughs> at all. I'm a, I'm a straight prison. Niggas in the cell. It's only me and you, nigga. And if I don't like you, you going. You getting up out of here, nigga. You got to roll me up out of here. That's what I'm used to. I don't do the dorms and all that open dorms, bro. And so uh, I went to lay my ass down, but I knew in my mind, I just felt the atmosphere. I said, I know these niggas is going to bring it to me. I know it, bro. They already hit me up. I let them niggas know this Bonnie Hunter say, where you from, nigga? You niggas know where I'm from, nigga. So it's already, it's already in the atmosphere. Nigga from Green Isles, from Santana Block, from Compton. I believe it's from Santana, but I won't say Santana, but I know he's from Compton for a fact. They sent him first. They sent him at me. I got a scratch on my shoulder right here, nigga. Because I woke up and caught him as he was finna jug me. He ended up carving me like a scratch. Because I woke up and caught him straight in the chin. Bam! And the nigga backed up off me, panicked. Instead, he just kept... If it was me with aggression, I'd have stayed on that nigga and just kept hitting him. Yeah. But he backed up and gave me action. When he backed up, I dived off the bunk. When I dived off the bunk, I dived into two blows. Bing, bing, bing. Nigga fired off me. <laughs> <laughs> Bing, bing, bing. Oh, shit. Bing, bing, bing. So now I'm fighting to the front door. My whole thing now is to fight these. I got to fight out of the alleyway, get out this alleyway, because they're going to close me in. Yeah. I ain't got no no bunk or nothing to put my back on, so I got to come straight out this alleyway. So I came dipping, toe to toe, straight out that alleyway. Made it to the door. Before I even got to the door, the COs hit the motherfucker like a minute or two later, because it was, it was going up. Them niggas was on me. They hit the door. When they hit the door, I'm stuck with about three or four, and we numbered, and them niggas on me. Bing, 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 bing. I'm back. Bing, bing, bing. Finally, the police broke it up. When they broke it up, they grabbed me. They went to mace me. They turned around. They looked at me. He said, where the fuck? Who? Where are you? I said, man, I'm a blood, man. What you mean? He said, you a blood? Get the fuck out of here. You're in the wrong place. <laughs> they threw me out the door. You know what I'm saying? And they rolled me up. That class case to find out he was over here on mistake. He wasn't even supposed to be on the line. You feel me? He's an indeterminate shoe. I'm an indeterminate shoe. I'm supposed to go straight to shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they, they put me out there by mistake. Now, when you're in level four, how long are you out to sell? Is, do they let you out like, you can move like normal? What's the difference? Well, de depending from on- that From that from five. Yeah, yeah, no. Depending on the yards you own, like if you own open yards, you on a level four in, in open yards and your wings are not on lockdown, yeah, you, of course, you get yard time. Gotcha. But if you're on a level four and you're in a shoe, which is security housing units- Yeah. Now, security housing units, let me let me break this down as as well so TV land understand because a lot of people take PC 
and shoe and they put them together. It's not together, it's separate. Shoe is for all the bad niggas. It's all like the jail niggas with names, the, the threats, mm. niggas who didn't put that work in, that's what shoe is for. Whether okay. you're white, Airy B, uh, uh, Mexican, Mexican mob, Bloods, Crips, it don't matter. If you putting that shit in, shoot. PC, nigga, protected custody. That's where the sorry niggas go. Mm. That's where them niggas, hey, he trying to kill me over here. Come on, we got some place for you. We're going to put you on over here. Where's Disneyland at? Mm. PC. Now they call it sensitive need yards. 